Hi Diamond Friends, it's Linda with Diamonds for Linda. Today I have an unboxing and I have a I'm set up a little bit different in my living room and nobody's home, so I thought, why don't I do the unboxing here? And I have this is where I diamond paint. I have one of these white collapsible tables, and there's another one over there in our little living room. <laughs> um, so anyway, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really appreciate it. I am just going to move this chair out of the way so I could stand here and hopefully everything will work out okay. So, I have an unboxing from Treasure Studios Art DIY Diamond Art Kit. And this came today. So today is Friday. So hopefully this will come out maybe Saturday or Monday. I'm not sure. But... Um, it was, so it was in, a, it was bagged. It wasn't double boxed. It was bagged. So, um, you know, the box has little creases, but that's fine. As long as the diamond painting is okay. So it comes like this. On this side, it has, um, steps to diamond paint. And over here is the, um, treasure studio studiosart.com and you can support and all that fun stuff and this is um, looks like it's coming from Australia it did take a, a little while and on their website they do let you know that it that it will so they have all kinds of diamond paintings so I guess it opens up this way I'm gonna take the diamond painting out and put the box over here behind me so it does have the plastic to keep dust out of it and I know some of you don't like the crinkle so we'll try to do this as quickly as possible let's see I'd like it if the whole diamond painting came out at once but it doesn't look like it's like the, the tool kit and the diamonds are going to come out first okay let's just really tight in there so we'll put this to the side and this is poured glue so what I am going to do is roll it, put it upside down like this and I'm hoping I'm not gonna end up moving the camera again oh look at those pretty tweezers over there um, too much like like I've mentioned, this is a new setup here. I don't know if I will do this regu regularly, probably not, but I'll try it out. So I'm just gonna go like this. I apologize for the, it's not coming clear through the camera all the time. It just doesn't want to um, It doesn't want to focus. So let's see. Let me show something, maybe it'll help with the focusing. So this is the back of the canvas and it's poured glue and it's like very soft. And here's the tool kit, it comes in this pretty bag. It looks like I'm gonna have a lot of it not focusing here. Um, my tweezers, I think they got, I think they bent a little bit. I, don't, I think they bent or they come that way. But these are the ones that, that are not pointy at the end. Uh, I hear these are good for scooping up the drill when it's on your canvas and you need to pick it up. And so in your toolkit, you get a pretty bag. I really love it. It's pink. I think pink might be the color. You get your, your tray, your pen. And you get a little container of wax, which I love because you could reuse these for other things. I put putty in here, but I'm sure you can make like a lip balm or, or other things in here as well. And you have your comfort grip and some multi-placers. Multi-placers are so when you're diamond painting, you can pick up more diamonds if you're doing like a color blocking area. So this one is a seven placer and this one says a four placer. A four placer used to be my favorite and then it was the seven and now it's the I've been practicing with the 15 but I like the 10. I think I like the 10 placer 
And then here's a straightener. Do you all use the straightener? So that is what comes in the toolkit. Move this over. And on the box, I didn't show you all, but on the box, it does have the picture here, so when you store it, but I'll show you a better picture right now. Because my camera just does not want to focus here. I wonder if it's because of the white background. I wonder if I put the drills like that. So here is the image. Is that not gorgeous or what? And let's see. And everything is legally licensed on the website. And I think maybe the artist is on the, the kit and I will um, let you know who that is. So this has 49 colors and I don't think there are any ABs in this, which is fine with me. I don't, I like ABs, but they're, I have a, a love dislike for them because they're hard to pick up. But that is the image. I have a shadow over there. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is a round. Here are the drills. They are round and I believe they are resin. But we'll look at a few of the bags. So let me just flip this over. So let's see. I have it upside down. So it's, it's The Lord's Thoughts of You by Debbie Clark. So Debbie Clark is the artist. And the top of the canvas has Treasure Art Studios, Diamond Art Kit by Treasure Art Studios, Creating Peace Through Art, Creating Peace Through Art. And it's scalloped and pokes so you're not gonna have fraying. And while we're here, let me see if I can focus on the drill field. Sorry, I'm gonna take my glasses off. So the symbols look clear. There are some guide circle circles. And yeah, so I'm hoping to kit this up soon. I want to work on one of these. Okay, so I wonder if I could, well, I guess that's fine. I was going to see if I could zoom you out. So over here you have the picture and then the symbols. Let's take a look at the symbols. So I love that one is one. So one, two, you have it through eight. And then you have some capital letters here, which I like. Um, I really like this when they do the letters especially when they're in order, because it really helps me when I'm finding this, the um, containers when I'm diamond painting. And then over here, you have some symbols. So I'm just trying to check and see, like these two right here, I'm probably gonna have to um, be aware of when I'm working. And there's one arrow, there's that arrow, but it's kind of like that loopy one that's turning around, so I don't think I'll have issues with that. So I think, I think with these two right here, that one reminds me of the caution sign and this one reminds me of an hourglass. So those two are kind of, I think I'm going to have a little bit, I'll just have to be aware. But here is some more of the drill fill. There's the, the hashtag or the pound sign. But I think it's going to to work out really nice. So there's the woman who's praying. And then there's the the lion. You know, the only problem with this is I have the um the arm that's holding my phone right here. So yeah, so I'm not sure how I'm going to like this setup later, especially with the bigger canvas because I can't bring it down. <laughs> because it'll, it's gonna hit that. Oh, you know what, I, maybe next time I'll put it on this side of the table so that way I could bring this up and down. But yeah, so that's what I have for you today. This is gonna be nice. Oh, let's look at the diamonds. So 
So here are the diamonds. They are already kitted up for you. So Bella Art Day Nicole has come out with a container for baggies. So I think what I'm going to do, I can't get one this month. Maybe next month I can get one. I hope so. That way I could use it for one of these ones that are already kitted up in these baggies. But it holds the baggies. So um, it'll hold the baggies up and they can be in order and they're not falling all over the place. Because that's one of the reasons why I don't like to work out of baggies is because it just kind of gets messy. So oh, my eyes are starting to water. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so let me find out where you open this. Okay, so I saw, I apologize for the crinkles. I know not everybody likes that. I'm trying to find, let me get my glasses on. Okay, glasses are on, I can see. Oh my, my eyes are just starting to water. So when they water, they hurt my eyes because I, I think like the tears fall back in and then you know how you get kind of have that, I don't know if it's really salt, but from your skin. Okay, so I don't want to take these all out. I don't, let's see, are they in order? That's 9413. I don't think they are in order. 10, 12, 8, so I think they, well, I think they are in order because here's one. Oh, I'm sorry, my eyes are just, just hurting. Okay, so let's see. So here are the drills. Maybe I should get a tray and we can take a look at them. I have a, a Bella Art Day Nicole tray here. And so this is so this is number one. Okay, let's take them out and take a look. See if I can do this without spilling. There goes my my uh my clock. Okay, sorry. Okay, so let's go like this. I can't remember if there was a choice to have square rounds. I didn't I didn't look at the site before I did this, um, but I believe. I believe you have a choice that you could choose. I'm not 100% sure. I will look at up the site before I post this and I will put that down in the descriptions or put it in, in the comments. But here are the diamonds. They're nice and sparkly. Okay, sorry about that. I had to stop the video because my eyes are just hurting really bad. So, so that's this one. Let me find that bag. So let's look up another one or look at some another color. Let's see if I can get this in here without spilling anything. That is that one. Let me get my glasses back on so I could see. So this is more of a, like a muted palette. Because if you look at the sticker, um, the sticker sheet um, does have like you could you're gonna have to cut these yourself. But I do like the size of this when you put them on the container. It's there's so there's gonna be a lot of blue, yellows, browns, um, but they're they're more like the more muted I guess colors. So we have that one. It's funny because I'm always talking about that I like the bright, colorful canvases, but I'm, I buy a lot of like fallish, autumn, um, things like this where there's more browns and grays and things like that. I just, I'm drawn to them, I guess. Okay, so here is a 310. Let's see how the 310 looks. some dimples in this one so maybe 
maybe the um, browns are acrylic. I'll have to double check the website. Because are you seeing those? Let me see. But I didn't see a whole lot of trash, but then um, I see the, like those little bits. I don't know if you could see them on the camera. And I hear black is the color that does produce a lot of trash. Oh my goodness, look at all this 317, a lot of this gray. So I'll have to double check on if the rounds are acrylic or resin. I don't mind actually, as long as they're beautiful and sparkly. glasses off again so in this one they do they sparkle very nicely I'm trying to be careful so I don't spill so yeah they're very pretty they're sparkly here's the bag have you ordered from this company have you done a diamond painting from this company let me know in the comments I've seen Jennifer, I believe her name's Jennifer over at DP Addiction. She has done a few from this company and has been very happy um, with it. So let me go ahead and see. The, so the plastic is a thinner plastic. I always appreciate the thicker ones, but it's not like a, it's not like I wouldn't purchase again because many of them have actually the thinner plastic. And then the glue area, it doesn't come too far off, which I like. Do you see it's like right here? Do you see it kind of shining? It ends like right there. So that's, I don't, I, I like that it's not too far out. And I really don't like to like touch the canvas sticky part. Let's see if I get the glare. So I just think this is gonna be, turn out really pretty. I really would like to kit this up and get started on it and and try it out for you all. Maybe what I might do, I might just do like a corner. Maybe I'll do like a corner just to try it out. The only thing is, is then I would have to kit it up. <laughs> Maybe I'll work out of the baggies. I really need to get one of those things from um, a bag holder. I'm not sure what it's called on um, Bell Art and Nicole's website, but I really need to get one of those. So anyway, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I do apologize, I was having eye problems. <laughs> so so yeah, so my eye was hurting through half the unboxing. But um, thank you so much for watching. Remember to live a life filled with color, cut so much prettier that way, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.